guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, <sighs> earlier today I was kind of just thinking through a bunch of different topics. Um, they were kind of scattered and kind of out of the blue. An event back from, uh, from back in 2015 kind of came to mind and it got my brain a stirring. Um, this isn't really a history talk video, just first of all, because I don't think it's far back enough to be considered worthy of this yet, but it is kind of something that altered a lot. So, call it what you will. We'll put it that way. But I'm going to call this kind of a discussion and rant video for tonight. So... While thinking through some financial um, topics, just out of the blue, um, a very specific event from 2015 came to mind. I think I said 2013 originally. I meant 2015 if I did. But this event was... Um, I, I don't know if it was ever given an official name, but I'm going to call it the billion dollar um, cyber heist of 2015. How many people who are watching this know what I'm talking about? Maybe a small fraction, large fraction, I don't know. But this kind of altered the way that banks had to look, like bankers, banks, like in general, just had to look at like accounts in general, like how secured they had to be. Um, I still, this may have just been coincidental timing, but I still remember before this, there were certain things that were not applied as much. Now it may just be because of electronic progression or something like that. I have no idea. But I do recall that back before that, purchasing things or getting refundable finances back to accounts was a lot more simplistic and took a lot less time um, even in the manners that most of us look for now online but and this might just be very very ironic or very um, coincidental timing or just time range in general, but I, I have noticed that it's become a lot more complex to be able to get something like that. Case in point, um, there was like a specific, uh, I'm not going to go into detail about this, I'm not going to name companies or names in general at either just because I don't think it's necessary, but I do remember there was a very specific uh, refund a little bit ago, about three months ago, I think it was, something like that. I, I had to put some thought into this because, quite frankly, I don't even remember the time range. It feels like three months, but then again, the past month has felt like a year for me because just day after day kind of thing. There hasn't been much going on. That's probably why. But anyway, I digress. A certain time ago, I was looking for a refund on something online, and like most websites, it says, well, it'll show up within a couple business days, three to five business days, yada yada, and at the time, I was like, oh, I really need this soon, though. Well, maybe it's just the slowness of time, but I'm pretty sure it was like the day after or something where I was like, okay, I'm going to just double check with the bank to make sure what's going to happen is going to happen. And lo and behold, same thing was said. And quite frankly, three to five business days, something like that at most. It, it, I've noticed just this has become a lot more apparent. And especially now with everything going on. But that doesn't change the fact that I've, just still observe the idea that prior to 2015 this wasn't so much the case 
Now, maybe it's just because a lot more people were doing things in stores and not really online. Or maybe it was just, you know, what I claimed. It, it could have just been impeccable timing, for all I know. Still, I find it very odd how this particular financial detail starts up pretty much around, if not after, this financial crisis happened. I honestly can't say if it was just, because it may have just been here. If it was just here, then yes, it was just coincidental timing. But if it was international, then, ah, uh, Yeah, that's where problems can really, that, that's, that would show that it's definitely not just coincidence. I don't know. It's It feels like the further you go, too, like day by day, year by year, I skipped week and month, but not the point. Um, just security becomes more jammed tight and more mm, blocked off in a sense. Like, it's gotten to the point with passwords specifically where you'd have to change them once every certain amount of time, which is good, but... To me, specifically, who has, like, their password the same thing for a lot of different things. But, well, at least the irrelevant stuff. It kind of becomes aggravating, because then you're like, oh, what am I supposed to change them all to now? Now, this is, as I said, this isn't the case with everything, but... I don't know. This financial crisis kind of caused a very, very, very drastic difference and is it good or bad well i would say it's good just for the sake of at least for those who are patient enough to wait um which this is a lot of people it's not everyone not everyone can hold the same equivalent amount of patience everybody has patience but all of them to a very specific degree some people are only willing to wait a couple days others need it in the moment but that's yeah that's fine some are willing to wait weeks if they need to. Who am I kidding? I can't think of a single person who is. <laughs> Unless it's part of their job. Excuse me. Hmm. A little bit. But either way around, I do find it very intriguing that this amount of wait that needs to happen for these kind of things exists because... I would assume it's because of 2015, like what happened back then. Um, a lot of people think like who have just kind of come into the financial world I, I've kind of met quite a few of them and a lot of them think that it shouldn't impact them they weren't part of back then but the reality of it is whatever happened to the bank that is being used at any point in time it happened it, it impacts anybody from that point forward and what whether it's appreciate it or not there's not much that can be done this is something that i've just kind of come to terms with at this point i think when i started working with finances back when i was way younger than i am now <laughs> um i would i was having mental problems and i didn't really like the idea either and there were always there always seemed to be some kind of financial problem that i hated and i hated waiting for it like most people around that age do. So I get it for those who do. But at the same time, now that I'm older and I know a bit more about the details, it makes a bit more sense. Like, And I'm a bit more understanding about the idea of, okay, I got to wait. That's fine. As long as it comes within the time range, you tell me. Um, and it has that note actually has to come from both ends. Because one other thing I've noticed in the, like ever since 2015 is just that both sides tell a different story say you're i don't know you're getting something from amazon and you receive a damaged item or ebay or mercury or you know there are several different ones we're just going to go with amazon since that one gets spat on the most apologies i actually do like amazon that's where i buy most of my things but anyway, I digress. Um, 
say you get a package from them and you receive it and it's broken or tattered, torn, it's damaged in some kind of way and you want a refund. And they provide the refund saying that it's going to take about, you know, the transfer will take about 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours. Um, you wait that amount of time, but the bank doesn't have it in implemented yet. You talk to the bank and they say, oh, no, that's going to take about three days, three business days. Quite frankly, those who, you know, who aren't used to that kind of thing and don't want to wait are going to be upset about this. They're going to be frustrated. But for those who have, you know, gone through it enough to the point where they're like, you know what, this is normal, nothing I can do, just push forward. Um, which is where I'm kind of at. But the first bit that I said, again, I was there. I've been there before. I get the idea of not wanting to wait that long. I understand it. I've been there. But at this point, because of all the different, like, the 2015 cyber hack that happened, that was one of several within the past, who knows how long at this point. But... It is what it is, and unfortunately nothing can be done. Many hate it. Many don't mind it. It really depends on the person. But that cyber hack is really kind of what caused all this in the first place, and it's... Honestly, I've got mixed feelings about... And right now, I would say I have mixed feelings about like the security measures that take place from the bank's perspective, but not from the others. But that's because it's not really the other company's job. As long as they do what they say, I mean, it's frustrating, sure, especially if you have certain things that you need that money for, but what else are you going to do? Either way, I guess you could call this event about a 2015 heist. Let's put it that way. Venting about, venting about a heist. We'll leave it at that. In fact, I'm pretty sure you already knew that since that's the title of the video. One way or the other, I'm going to leave this here. I've been talking about this, like the, my mindset, my thoughts on the responses. And if I'm wrong where that came from, it's just when I noticed it. So apologies if I am wrong. Um, either way, have uh, how about you guys? Have you guys have ever... Uh, notice any large drastic changes in companies or corporations that kind of impacted you in either a like either a minor way or a major way whether negative or positive i've got quite a few that i probably could talk about but i'll talk about them on a future date for right now i'm going to leave this video here let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas on that front um but thanks for tuning in for this video everyone if you liked this, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion, once again, for something um, involving like corporation changes or um, product changes or anything like that you'd like me to talk about, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Want to check out any other discussion around videos that I have on here? Click the link on the side of my head where you'll find something like that. Or if that's not quite what you're looking for, maybe YouTube will give you a better idea over here. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.